hi everyone Liz here thanks for stopping by so today I'm just going to have a quick look and a little bit of a chat um, about some of my craft buddy crystal art cards that I've done um, I have been doing an awful lot uh, <laughs> yeah well Hubby's been poorly um, and I've been having to you know stay in the room with him um, and keep an eye on him then I found that card kits have been a brilliant thing to do. I've done canvases and all sorts. Um, and we've had a few nights where we've been up a bit late. Um, and he goes to sleep in the chair. Um, and rather than disturb him, you know, I, I, I've just been diamond painting and keeping an eye on him. Um, so, yes, I thought I'd just quickly show you them um, and just give you a look, you know, if you're thinking of getting any. Um, I do have like an affiliate type code. Um, which is LIZ15, Liz15. Um, I'll put the details down below. Uh, I do earn a small commission if you do purchase using my code, which if you do, thank you very much. Um, I am saving up to try and get some better equipment for my YouTube channel. Um, I do find that this is something for me. Um, I'm a wife and a carer, and I do find that sometimes I just want something for little old me. So my YouTube channel is just for me. Okay, so I've rabbited on a bit now. So I just thought you'd like to see, um, these are the first Crystal Art Craft Buddy cards that I did. And this is what got me into diamond painting. And they're just of little Westie dogs. And they did them with a black background or a white background. And of course, because it's a Westie, I had to get both. Um, I did used to have a little Westie called Harvey. Um, I think I've mentioned him on previous videos. And uh, yeah, he was a little sweetie. He was my very first dog. And uh, he'll always have a very, very special place in my heart. Um, so yeah, so they were the first ones I did. And they were all crystals, just with that special like resin eye, big crystal, big gem in the middle there. But yeah, they were really, really super. It came in a set of four, I think. I think there was a pony, um, there was a skull. And what was the other one? Pony, skull, dog, oh, horse. No, that's pony. <laughs> I'll remember it. Do you know my brain? It's like a sieve at the moment. So, yeah, so they were, I just thought you'd like to see those. Um, I have kept them because they were the first ones that I did. Um, I have got others and uh, sent them out to people, but yeah. So they were the first ones I did. Um, oh, this is uh, just one of the little uh, crystal art stickers. Um, that uh, you can get and she's just a little princess and she's got a little jewel gem there around her neck and a little jewel on her tiara there and a dress and these are stickers I say they're a clear stick around the edge so you can oh gosh use them um, for card making or for putting on boxes or for putting on the wall even they will just peel off I think you can see there that that is a clear sticker underneath yeah you can just about see through the edges there so you can see that that's not going to have white edges anywhere and uh, yeah i'll be using that on a card possibly or a project i'm quite into projects at the moment using up spare drills but i thought she was really pretty um and i just wanted to give the stickers a try i've not tried the stickers when i got that one i think i got that one sometime last year He's still uh, on the website if you check those out. Right, this is uh, my two other little Westies, which I just couldn't resist, had to have. Um, if you saw my video using up the Crystal Art uh, Magic Glue, then uh, yeah, I've just uh, finished off the little baby Westies tail, little puppy there. But look at the smile on that on his face. That's wonderful. Let me take these out of the packets because they're just glaring a bit, aren't they? It's the lighting in here so yeah so that's the westies these are all um 18 by 18 centimeters which is seven by seven inch square uh, they all come with an envelope as well and if you can hear anything rattling about that is uh, millie the scotty dog which she's just trying to get under my desk again there's some empty boxes so she's opening them up to check uh this one is your kittens and it has beautiful resin flowers on the bottom there special drill and they are like an a b coated uh flower there and then on this one i just added some um rather than just the plain resin gems i actually added crystals for the cat's collars and the cat's little name tag there as well just to give it that extra sparkle if you've got spare gems and spare drills just 
have a go just uh, try putting some different slants on things sometimes it just uh, makes them look that little bit different okay and the next one this is beautiful this one is pony or horse and it looks like it's got like feathers a little bit like um an indian type horse with its feathers in its mane um and it looks like we're possibly somewhere in america are we with the mountains in the background okay and uh, yeah beautiful quality they are lovely they're all partials the cards and um, so the background is like printed and then the main body of the card the animal the focus of the card is all then resin drills um, or special drill gems or a mixture of both so that you get that 3d effect and they all have lots of colors the amount of gems that you get all different colors with these cards is amazing so you get that depth of color just to give you the extra 3d just makes it look that little bit different on this one the horse's nostril and eye um, and the ring there haven't got drills on just so that they again stand out that little bit more but look at the sparkle on that mane that is wonderful look you can just catch that sparkle in the light there wow so these are my favorite cards and um, i have tried lots and lots of different cards uh, from lots of companies um, but I always end up coming back to Craft Buddy because I just think these are super quality. Okay, so this one is the butterfly. And again, the background is plain, but look at the colours on that butterfly. Look at the sparkle. Can we just get it? Oh, sorry, we've got a glare there. I had to put the light on because it's such a dull and dark day here in the UK today. Look at that sparkly butterfly. And you could use that for anything. Get well soon, thinking of you, happy birthday, happy anniversary, um, I love you, maybe. Uh, so yeah, um, they all come, they're blank inside, so you can write your message or add an insert or uh, stamp a message, paste a message in, uh, whatever you want to do with these, write a letter in them, there's plenty of room to write. And they're really good quality, they stand up to the waft test. So they're not going anywhere, they're not falling over. You're going to have that stuck on your mantelpiece for quite a while above your fireplace. And Craftbody, I don't think they've got them in stock at the moment, but do do um, frames that fit these. So if you can get little 7 inch by 7 inch frames, um, then or 18 by 18 centimetres, you can frame these and they make fantastic pictures. I mean, that is just such a pop of colour, that pinks on that blue it's just amazing now this is one of my favorites this is our kingfisher and it is absolutely beautiful it's a mixture of you've got your um, standard resin drills you've got a b drills the white is like snow and um, a b which is an aurora borealis coated um drill so you get that extra sparkle on it it's like an oil on water effect and then we have the crystal gems as well so you've got the three different styles there of your gems and again the sparkle on that anybody who's a bird watcher would love that we did actually have a kingfisher come into our house once um it was just as after we'd had the conservatory built and it has two really big wide doors at the front and we are near um head and haven which is like a waterway that runs um on the outskirts of the town of Hedden and uh, it must have just flown in thinking it could get straight through and it was just sat in the conservatory and I've never actually seen one in real life but to have one actually sat so close was unbelievable I'll see if I can find the photograph and I'll, I'll add it into the video but yeah we had a kingfisher in the house <laughs> Uh, and he was very very pretty he was okay he'd not flown into a window or anything i think he'd realized when he'd got in and uh, it just disorientated and couldn't get out but we did help him to get out and he flew away and as far as i know he was fine okay then we've got our giraffes and uh, the tree in the background is all uh, resin and then the giraffe at the front is all resin and then the background and this little chap down here that said what's going on here then uh, he's uh, all just uh, a picture just they like the photograph they painted picture but yeah but that's that was quite a fun to do actually all the pattern of the giraffe 
um, in all the gems and there are different colours in that as well so it does give it that depth but yeah that was uh, a really good one to do okay and then we have a steam tray and uh, I have used this one on quite a few people's cards and um, I have a great nephew who is mad on trains so I tend to make cards for him with trains on and I've just recently done um, a birthday card for my dad because he used to be a fireman on steam trains he actually used to work on the uh, steam railways so he's a massive steam train fan as well it's funny how his great grandson is mad on steam trains as well it's uh, passed down the family shall we say but yeah that was a really good fun one to do and you can add lots around that if you want to you can jazz it up or again my dad's made his into a picture he's got his on his wall now because he was so pleased when he received it <clears throat> okay gosh my voice is going then we have robin now we normally have robins around christmas time with snow and everything so i like this one because it's a summer robin and we do have robins all year round and um, we have two that visit our garden and if they come into contact with one another they bump chests it's really funny they're like bump 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 fly at each other and get really really cross and um, they don't encounter each other very often but it was quite a shock to see them fighting um, I'm not quite sure which one won but we still have the two robins there seem to be one at either side of the garden and I do put lots of bird food out as well but I thought that was really pretty with all the flowers and everything this one again is all resin drills but with all the different colours the different shades it just really makes that pop really 3D okay I think you possibly saw me unboxing some of these uh, nearly at the end don't worry <laughs> now this is one of the newer ones I've got and I oh I adore these little hedgehogs um, my little granddaughter is mad on hedgehogs at the moment um, so this will possibly be going to her if I can bear to part with it um, they've just got little daisies look that they've just done in like little gems little sparkly gems just to make that stand out a little bit more but we've got your three hedgehogs which are a mixture of resin drills and then the brown ones on the backs for the spikes just so that they sparkle a little bit more they're all your um, crystal gems but yeah that one's really cute and uh, your snuffly little hedgehogs yeah granddaughter would like a hedgehog she put that on her christmas list sadly she didn't get one but that was what she really 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 wanted she's only six bless her okay now this is a real sparkly one love doing this one um again anniversary wedding i love you engagement anything like that celebration or even an 18th or a 21st um, it's a mixture of resin drills and your crystals and what I'm going to do with this um, when I decide what I'm doing with it what I think I want to do is maybe do it as an anniversary card and just put possibly some little gems coming as though it's the um, sparkles coming up from the drinks not sure maybe will maybe won't but yeah that's a brilliant card for uh, those romantic occasions or celebration occasions in your life and again nice and plain and blank so you can add whatever you want you can make this card for whatever occasion you want it to be okay pop that one back. i do like to keep them in the covers that they come in it just keeps them clean and i think if they're not in a cover then it's easy for something to catch on the gems and uh, possibly knock them over I just keep those not quite stood properly out the way there put them there put those underneath there now then this is a mandala one um i think i've said before i've got a big envelope in with it as well i'm not a huge mandala fan but i am getting there Oops, that's that way up that's where the cards are um because the colors on them and the sparkle is just wonderful um I, these are my favorite gems these blue with the like a b they're like a half sphere half circle um and then they've got the lemon ones as well and i just love the colors of those and uh, yeah i think that's really really pretty really good fun to do as well i tended to do the edge first um, and then i worked my way into the middle 
possibly in hindsight it would have been better to work my way out so that I wasn't working over the drills that I was doing but uh, that was the way I did it and it worked out okay but yeah the amount on that and the work that um, has gone into designing that with all the different sizes of crystals and everything as well it's brilliant so I love that one okay so that's mandala now then this one I purposely bought it because this is going on my wall in my craft room because I think that's just a, a little affirmation that we all need. You were born to sparkle. And uh, what more can I say? Um, certainly my living room carpet sparkles after I've been diamond painting. Because <laughs> I do tend to lose quite a few. Uh, but yes, I think that's just with the nature of the hobby. You do tend to have drills that turn up everywhere. Um I found one in the toilet this morning, so I'm not quite sure how that ended up there. But I was thinking, why is that stuck to the toilet? And uh, yeah, it was a resin drill. But hey, -ho, they get everywhere. So your wording um, is all just crystals in the wording with a lovely gold um, sort of on the card, printed on the card. Um, so that one's all silver. This has got all gold rhinestones on it. And then around the edges, I think you can, I don't know whether you can get that sideways on. I don't know if it will show up. Excuse my nails are terrible at the moment. Yeah, you can see that there's all different rhinestones all around the edges. Some of them are printed on, uh, but most of them aren't. I wonder if I look. Yeah, you can get it there, look. You can see all raised up, all the different gems on there. So that is definitely going in a frame and it is going on my craft wall. So, yeah, that, I just need that see it every morning you were born to sparkle <laughs> my hubby did once as well um i used to use a lot of glitter on cards and things and uh, unfortunately i must have gone to bed and uh, had some um glitter on me somewhere and it must have got into the bed and uh, during the night it transferred to hubby and he turned up at work with glitter on him and uh, the girls at work were all what have you been doing? You've got glitter on. You've been getting dressed up. <laughs> so he wasn't happy when he came home. But uh, hey -ho, that's just what happens when you live with a crafter. <laughs> okay, so this is a lovely fairy tale dragon in a castle. Um, you've got your fairy godmother up there, look, with her sparkly trail. And what I've done with this, I've, su I've substituted um, some of the plain resin drills that there were for I've put some blue ABs in the pillow along the bottom there. Um, I've put some green ABs on the dragon so that he pops a little bit more. And then the blanket at this side has got a darker blue AB. See if you can see those. Sorry, you're getting a bit of shadow and uh, reflection there as well. But you can see all these ABs along here. Um, and then the green ones are all across here. I don't know if you can. Yeah, it's just about picking them up. And then the fairy, I did her in crystal, like, well, AB whites and then AB yellows all the way around her wings. So that just makes that a little bit more magical. Um, I was going to put uh, some, use my craft buddy. Um, glue and just put a line around and put glitter on but I decided that might be a little bit much so I may or may not do that before I send it to somebody if I send it to somebody um, oh and I have put um, some white ABs I've just sort of mixed them in with the white normal resin drills there as well just to give the pillow a little bit more of a sparkle so yeah but I don't like playing around um, I've got all these spare drills now and I, I do like to just add that little extra touch just to see how they go. So that's the dragon. Yeah, again, I, I don't even know whether I'll be able to give that one away because I like it so much. <laughs> and then the peacock. Now he did come um, with normal resin drills and special drills. And what I've done, because he was just a normal blue um, resin drill for his front and his head I've actually substituted it for a very deep blue gem so that it just uh, 
it gives a bit more sparkle I just thought that looked a little bit better and um, these are AB coated white drills it's sort of a Christmassy scene this one but I don't know whether I'd send a peacock as a Christmas card not sure maybe good for a Christmas birthday or a December or January birthday but yeah very very pretty that one and uh, all the gems in the tail there all the shaped gems there really really nice so yes yeah, so, they are your cards so I do like to have a play um and what's the worst that could happen you put them on and you think oh no I don't like them just take them off and uh, put back the gems that uh, came with the kit and um, you can use craft buddy tacky glue there um, or you can use your uh, magic glue now as well that's another one uh, check out my videos on how to use magic glue it's excellent one of my favorite products now okay and then craft buddy do do the huge a4 size cards as well and this one is one of my favorites again i just love it so much i've not been able to send it to anybody um anybody that's maybe into that little wizard might like this one as you can see it's uh, a lot bigger than uh, the normal cards that they do it's an a4 size so i'll give you it in centimeters so it is 21 centimeters which is eight and a quarter inches by 11 and a quarter inches which is about 18 and a half centimeters sorry 28 and a half centimeters that way so a really big size card again blank inside really good quality but just look at the sparkle on that i just love the rope effect that is all in crystals and then all of this going around the owl and the ball that is sat on with the magic gem in the middle and even the books are all crystallized as well there which is wonderful and you've just got little hearts there look as well in the middle just a little heart but this is just superb and the owl just looks so realistic brilliant card um brilliant picture i might i say I, I may frame this because i just love it so much but i really enjoyed working on this one the quality of the drills are just wonderful and they just all went down so well so easy to follow and uh yeah loved that one so well i think that's uh me talked out i'm losing my voice i've uh, talked so much so i hope you've enjoyed seeing all these little cards um, and uh, if you do any then I am on Facebook and Instagram send me some pictures I love seeing what everybody else gets up to as well um, there is a craft buddy uh, crystal art group uh, Facebook group and we do share photos and everything of what we've all done there as well but uh, that's me done for now so thanks for watching I hope you've enjoyed seeing all these cards if you have give me a like um, and if you want to see what I get up to next then press that subscribe button and you'll be notified when my next video comes up so thanks for watching see you all again soon bye for now